Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock for Pair of Philippines. I was going to record this video and show you what's going on outside today, but for about two weeks here we've been having a typhoon. This is typhoon season, I understand. So it's not going to be able to happen. I'm going to have to do this in my nasty, nasty studio. And that's where it's going to have to be recorded. Alright, so let's get to it. All right, so like I say, what I was going to do is do the, perform this outside, but I was going to use this plastic drawer that I have right here, showing you with my kicking it around my foot. Show you what a valuable asset it is if you have one for filmmaking. Put my that head prop in there you've probably seen before, and uh, some. Uh, rubber matting and uh, let's see here probably clapper you know basically my basic tools you know that you're gonna do to uh, film a scene or work out a scene so what I'm doing right now is I'm working some stuff out so by the time I get to film it and I get to the actor, or the actor gets to me. We're ready to, ready to shoot, and everything works out smooth, okay? But in the meantime, what I'm doing, I can carry this with all the stuff in it that I need, just like that. But let me show you something else with this uh, plastic drawer right here. Alright? Okay, so here's another reason why I wear bandanas a lot in my filmmaking. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. We'll get going. So here's my setup with my camera. You can probably understand what I'm going to do here. Alright. And this is where that plastic drawer down here comes into play. And it works out really, really well. Because I am not going to pay an exorbitant amount of money for, for a rail rod system or something like that. Just when I can just use something like this. For no money at all all right so I've got that I got my clapper set up it's all the way open that means it's gonna be uh, no sound okay and there's the head prop all right so if I were filming this which right now obviously I'm not I would just simply take this as obviously we would do and drag this right across it's nice it's smooth and it's free. I've got my shot. I've got everything that I need. I can either zoom in or zoom out. I can get my, when I'm in the middle of that, I can get my crash in or crash out, zooms, that type of thing. And I'm done. And I got all that for free. I have this rubber matting down here. That when it's wet a little bit outside and not like it is outside right now with a typhoon, I can lie down on that to a good point. Alright, so that's what that's for. It won't slip and slide. So this plastic drawer is something that I use just for props and you know matting and stuff like that. Just what I was showing you. My cameras I do have you know uh, professional hard cases for them. You know that type of thing. Alright, so just a plastic drawer out of a chest of drawers. And it's free and didn't cost me an, a lot of money at all and uh, to do what I wanted to do. And that way I'm happy. The film I'm using for some scenes at the moment is the RT200 Fujichrome. Um, it's great. So if I want to get uh, some really saturated looking scenes for like sunlight and stuff like that, with still vibrant colors, I can get that type of thing. Blood and gory stuff, when I can find the uh, 25, I'll go ahead with that. The colors are just great. As you know, it probably looks like, uh, actually looks like um, Kodachrome 40. Now for me, making experimental horror films I want to make them as cheaply or as free as possible because hey you don't know if we're gonna make any money or not 
okay? And of course, anyone who wants to save on their production is only smart business, okay? So, you know, years ago, you know, when I was a kid, you know, back in the 70s, you know, messing with, you know, granddad's uh, Super 8 camera, you know, we would make something to make sure that it worked instead of, you know, buying anything. You know, and there's still some people around like that today. You don't need to go out and buy a bunch of expensive equipment. It's just really unnecessary, okay? Especially when you do an experimental film. Okay, so, Paul Mormon of Morbid Team Entertainment, do contact me at the social media outlets provided on the screen, and as always, do subscribe. Until next time, see ya!